There is new fallout on the Space Coast. A just released report is raising concerns about the spacecraft that NASA wants to use to send astronauts back to the moon. And it comes as we await another critical test flight for a different space vehicle, this time Boeing's Starliner. James Barbero is getting us caught up on all the latest. So we're a week away now from the next launch attempt of Boeing Starliner. Leading up to the crew flight test, we've talked a lot here at Kennedy Space Center about how the spacecraft would become just the sixth in NASA's history to fly astronauts. And in just another year, the Orion spacecraft would become the seventh during the Artemis II mission when these astronauts circle the moon. Like Starliner, Artemis has been very delayed too. And now in a new Inspector General report, there's more concerns about the schedule. You may remember when the uncrewed Orion capsule came home during Artemis I and the spaceship's heat shield was damaged. The divots pictured in that report look like potholes. Because of various hardware issues, the Artemis II mission is now delayed until September of 2025. Last week, Bill Nelson addressed the heat shield when answering Congress's questions about the moon program. We're going to make sure that that heat shield is functioning as it should be because they are coming in hot and fast. They're coming in at Mach 32 and it's 5,000 degrees. And just a year out from a reentry with the crew, NASA says it still hasn't figured out what caused parts of Orion's charred heat shield to crack and chip away. On the other hand, for Starliner's mission, United Launch Alliance is replacing that valve blamed for calling off Monday's countdown. Two weeks ago, when reporters, including me, got to speak to astronauts Butch Wilmore and Sonny Williams, Butch talked about his confidence in the Atlas V rocket. That's where the bad valve was discovered. There is not another rocket that I'd want to fly on. The ULA team has done amazing, miraculous things with their rocket to make it human rated. Starliner's next launch attempt continues to be on schedule for 616 next Friday night. Of course, if anything changes, we'll update you right here on News 6 and ClickOrlando.com. At NASA's Kennedy Space Center, I'm James Sparvero, getting results News 6. James, thank you. With missions to space becoming more and more common, we want to hear from you. If you could go to space, would you? Right now it looks like 75% <laughs> say yes, 25% would pass. Mm -hmm. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, it's 25% say yes, 75% say no, I'm staying on mm -hmm. Earth. You can weigh in on the debate right now by scanning the QR code on your screen. It'll take you to clickorlando.com slash react where you can cast your vote. We'll take another look at those results coming up at 6.30. I gotta say, not too interested. No, not right now at least. Maybe when I'm like 98, celebrating my go. 99th birthday. At this point, the juice doesn't seem worth the squeeze. Adios, right? Yeah, <laughs>